Well, here we go, Alby. Right, you sit tight, Albie. I'm gonna take to see Nanny Karen. Oh. How much do you pay for this place? Huh? Well, it's gonna have a big refurb. So I need it all clean and tidy so I know what I'm dealing with. And I've got some lovely, shiny new treadmills coming that should be in a couple of hours, so let's get cracking you. Yeah? What are you gonna do about the smell? It reeks of hairy men and sweaty underpants. <sighs> the smell's the only thing I do like. It's an awfully big job you've taken on here. Thank you, Jean. I'm aware of that. We just need to have a bit of vision. Or a blindfold. I don't want business advice, Mo. I want a cleaner. You've already been taken to the cleaners. All right, that's enough. Now, come on, let's get cracking. I'm going to take Albie and then I'll be back and I want the whole place clean and tidy, ladies. Thank you. Oh, come on, Billy. Well, I hope you're being served. Kind of. Kira! Lifesaver. Billy, it's, it's Kira. Yeah, that's what I said. Anyway, look, I can't find air freshener anywhere. And Sharon's got a bit of a nasty whiff that she can't get rid of. Uh, at, the, at the gym. Having a sprinkly. Of course. The new empire and all. Yeah, Sorry, Sharon, I'm still finding my way around the place. <laughs> I'm covering for Annie. Yeah. She's, uh, she's back next weekend, uh... Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Tell you what, why don't I find what you're looking for, bring you over to the Vic around lunchtime, one o'clock. Buy you that drink. So if you're bringing my shopping over, does that make it business or pleasure? Pleasure. Definitely pleasure. Right. I'll see you then. Thank you. No <laughs> I'm not your enemy, you know.